Hi everyone, welcome back to Bill's Podcast. In this session, we are going to talk about the myths about the share market. We think and assume that share market is some kind of thing and we imagine things, but the reality will not be the same. So I have some of the myths which are about the share market. So the first one is people think that investing in stocks and mutual funds is always risky. So what is your opinion on that? Well, everything in life has a risk. If I tell my newspaper to write every day, so many people are dying of car accidents and i tell you to publish this every day mm. within one month will be less and less people driving cars okay the fear will yeah. build up same the problem with the stock market mm. because of wanting to sell papers they write negative stories about it over and mm. over again and people who have lost money in stock market have not been investing they've been trading mm. those are the guys who lose most of the money and those are the big stories guys who become suddenly rich who become suddenly poor yeah all doing trading which is not what we're doing so first understand the difference between investing and trading mm. and second is like i said everything has a risk mm. to lower your risk all you have to do is learn about it okay like driving a motorcycle for the first time can be very scary but if you go and learn it and mm. how the motor works and how it and someone teaches you how to drive it your fear goes down slowly and yeah. over a period of time you think you won't think it's risky and drive around without a helmet like how you guys do okay so the second one is uh, if fias have a large amount of holding in a particular stock it is always considered safe no. so is it the same no if fis have a large holding in a stock it doesn't mean they're safe okay it just means they have a large amount of holding mm-hmm. in a company who that fi is why they are holding it is mm-hmm. what you have to investigate what is how much is their holding is it a large cap small cap all that you have to see there are so many other things to see mm-hmm. just because anand is owning a company doesn't mean you should buy it mm-hmm. that's very crazy logic to use to buy it. just because warren buffett does something doesn't mean you should do it okay and the third one is uh, people always think that uh, we need uh, huge sum of money to invest in share market no uh, okay to invest in share market all you need to do is buy little little periodically like anand says tiffin coffee range tiffin coffee range for each person they know like mm-hmm. my tiffin coffee range and your tiffin coffee range may be different by a few hundred rupees yeah. but that's the wide range so there's enough companies if you look even if your tiffin coffee range is like an auto wala is mm-hmm. only 50 60 rupees south indian bank is there yeah so it all depends on motivation to invest and to stay invested it is not a question of how much money you need you're not gambling here mm. you're not trying to put 10 lakhs in the market and make quickly 1 lakh every day or not mm. so it doesn't if you're doing it systematically and slowly there's no need much money all you need to be is consistent and the next myth is uh, people always think that they should have uh, good knowledge and uh, beginners cannot uh, invest uh, in uh, share market and only people with financial knowledge can make huge returns on that so what is uh, your opinion on that you don't need to have mm-hmm. financial knowledge and uh, stock market knowledge like what anand has mm-hmm. if you have basic knowledge it's enough and that's what passive mutual funds is all about not everybody has time to analyze stock and see which stock to buy which company to buy mm-hmm. you don't have but you want to be investing okay so do passive funds like i said mm-hmm. you invest in the nifty 50 or you invest you pick your passive fund and you keep investing and you keep moving forward don't uh, use lack of knowledge mm. or depth of knowledge as an excuse to start it's like saying i can't go to the gym because i don't know mm. how to lift weights yeah. you don't need to you go mm. start walking you know start simple mm. do something and once you start investing slowly in the passive funds you yourself will talk to more people about what you're investing and they'll give you ideas you'll talk to them and you always have time to learn mm. you don't need to know calculus mathematics to do investing you need to only know basic addition multiplication subtraction and division okay. which i think most of us from sixth standard should know yeah and one more thing is we always see the market fall periodically and um, stocks will correct heavily in a particular period of time so the general myth is if a stock uh, falls heavily it will rise up to the level and uh, give good returns so what is your opinion there are no guarantees mm. you are saying if a stock falls sharply one day yeah. that means it will recover sharply the next day mm. there is no rule like that mm. why it's falling sharply is why you have to investigate like satyam software company fell sharply it did not recover sharply and uh, you have to see why it's falling sharply mm. and my advice is if you are new to the stock market not to invest in anything sharply mm. you rather invest in something which is slow to grow and easy to watch and stable like when you start driving they don't say put in fourth gear and press yeah. accelerator full mm. they say stay in first gear second gear get used to the car get used to the road same thing applies in investing and the next myth is we always want the returns which the experts have 
we follow people and see that uh, they have this much return, that much return, and uh, no, no, um, the problem with all that is mm. the expert is not putting it put on the screen and showing you what mm. he is making. Okay, he's just claiming. Yeah, even I can claim. I can tell you I bought Indian hotels at two rupees, and I now it's going at five hundred. I'm five thousand crores. Mm. Why am I showing my bank account? Am I showing my statement? Someone will show. Mm. Everybody will claim all kinds of things. All that this noise. Mm. And if somebody is making 100 crores, or it's like saying Rock Dwayne Johnson lifted uh, 500 mm. kilos. So what does it do to me? It does nothing for my fitness and my health. Okay. I have to work on what is right for me. Mm. So don't look at anybody else's returns and try to copy yeah. that and mirror that. And all. Mm. You focus on your own, own risk and your assessment of a stock and a good price, and then you keep investing. Relying on all this kind of yeah. you know information. It's not a good way to go forward. Okay. So I hope that this video is informative and interesting and you had some knowledge about uh, what are the myths about the share market. If you found this video informative, please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more kind of videos. See you in another episode with an interesting topic. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.